There is a prevailing belief in the auditing community and in the anarchist community and in the sovereign citizen community and in the anti-cop community that judges are biased towards the police and that judges will give the police testimony more credibility than is warranted. And I'm going to tell you that that is probably true. And it's also probably not true, depending on which way you look at it. The finder of fact, the role, the job of the finder of fact, if the finder of fact is the judge or the jury, depends. But the role of the finder of fact is to listen to the testimony, to view the evidence, and to determine the relative value of that testimony or that evidence and to assign a weight to it, a credibility to it, to determine if you have a police officer saying that he saw the defendant commit a crime and you have the defendant saying that he didn't commit the crime, obviously the, these two statements can't both be true. So the role of the finder of fact is to determine which party to believe, which um, witness to believe. Do they believe the testimony of the police officer or do they believe the testimony of the defendant? And fortunately or unfortunately, whichever you may, however you may look at it, the police officer has nothing to gain by his testimony, generally speaking. Your average police officer testifying against the average defendant, there's nothing for that police officer to gain. The police officer doesn't get a raise if that person is incarcerated or not. The police officer doesn't get a promotion if that person gets incarcerated or not. The police officer has nothing to gain. Obviously, we can find situations out there where the police officer does have some sort of a personal grudge against the defendant or, or what have you. But I'm talking about, on average, generally speaking, 99 times out of 100 or more, the police officer has absolutely nothing to gain by the police officer's testimony. And then you look at the defendant's testimony or the defendant's mom's testimony or the friend of the defendant's testimony. They have something to gain by saying the defendant is innocent. They want the defendant obviously wants to be free and to not pay fines. The defendant's friends want the defendant to be free, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's there is something to be gained by it. The police officer is considered to be an impartial witness. Nothing to gain. Uh, if you look at a uh, at a civil trial where you have the plaintiff versus the defendant, the plaintiff obviously wants to win because the plaintiff will get the injunction or the or the damages or the whatever the plaintiff has skin in the game but the officer doesn't have skin in the game the officer has nothing to gain that's that's why in general most finders of fact will find the police officer to be a more credible witness than the defendant i hope that makes sense so now that i have you suckered in here and watching uh, there was this video that Desert Sentinel put out. Now, Desert Sentinel is being very selfless in this video. Um, normally, I would not highlight a plea for funding by an auditor. Um, but number one, I like Desert Sentinel. And number two, he's not asking for himself. Uh, he has a friend uh, by the name of Pete, who is somewhat disabled. Let's see if we can see Pete. Uh, this gentleman right here is Pete, who's had some rough times and is currently on Social Security and has he has issues and he can't afford to take care of himself. And Desert Sentinel has acquired through a donation his travel trailer, which is the best and most economical way to help Pete out. And there are some expenses associated with remodeling or making this travel trailer livable. Now, obviously, Desert Sentinel, as is evidenced by this video, is putting his own time and effort into it. 
and he just doesn't have the money to get some of the necessities that are required to make this travel trailer livable for Pete, like a portable septic system, etc. So I know some of my viewers are not without means, and so I'm putting this out there in hopes that, and I'll put a link to this PayPal in my description. There will also be a link to the video. If you don't trust me, you can go to Desert Sentinel's video. Uh, I think this is a good cause. I think this is a good, I think this is something that we can do to help somebody out. And I would really appreciate it if you would take the time and energy and effort to maybe give five bucks or 10 bucks or whatever you can do. Again, it's not for me, it's for, and it's not for Desert Sentinel, it's for somebody who is disabled and needs the help. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, theoretically, there may be a, uh, a discussion between me and somebody. I don't know the results. I don't have the, the Twitter, so I can't see the results of the, of the poll. But there may be a discussion between me and somebody this afternoon. So hopefully that works out. And I'll drink plenty of caffeine to be wide awake and amped up for it. So have a great day.